Bowman, the AC guy of Tampa Bay's here. What's been going on, Greg? Oh, still staying really busy. It's uh, you know still warm out there, oh, yeah. so it's. I mean, I'm sure. Hopefully, the weather will start to cool off in a little bit, but we're, we're still not seeing it yet. So. You know, I, I even say that I'm conditioned out of the heat, but it's the humidity that's the problem for me. Greg, I, I can deal with being hot, but man, the humidity is terrible. It definitely is. And we certainly deal with some really nasty humidity here. Mm. <laughs> um, it's not uncommon to measure 80, 90% humidity yeah. you know, this time of year outside. So it's, 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 I know you've fun. got tons of experience going back in AC for a long time. Uh, I know when you, it seems like Floridians down here, because of the heat and the, the amount of people that don't know how to service their unit, you get calls all the time about people that just the drain plug, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot of the service calls we do run are very common, very easy to prevent, um, you know, problems like dr- clo- clogged drains or, or you know things like that. That just you know basic service would keep that from happening. So on a routine, if they were on your routine maintenance, you guys come out. How often do you come out if you're on that plan? Uh, we have our, what we call our VIP plan. It's twice a year that we okay. come out on that plan. So basically, every six months, uh, we're coming out, we're cleaning the drain, treating the drain. You know, going through the entire system, making sure everything's operating the way it should. Just trying to head off any major expenses. You know, when you have an item like this, is one of the biggest items at your house. You know, you think about your home, AC yeah. is critical. Yeah. So you want to stay on top of it in terms of a regular cycle of, of people coming out to take a peek at it. Yeah, it, you know, it, it would be a lot like if you bought a car. A, a car is a major expense and you never took the time to change the oil. You know what's going to happen. Yeah, we, we all are conditioned to changing the oil now. Um, your air conditioner is really no different. And as units get more sophisticated, they have more maintenance requirements. So it's really important to you know to get that done. I know we're a little ways away, unfortunately, from cooling off. But when people make that transition into using their heat, down here we rarely ever turn it on, Greg. What's the difference yeah. down here? We run, according to Duke Energy and Tico, we run about 300 hours of heating is what they say versus 3,000 hours of cooling. So we have about 10 times more hours of running time of of cooling. Um, So it is very minimal, the amount of heat we use. That's that those heating hours are based on maintaining certain temperatures, um, basically maintaining it at 72 in the house. A lot of people will you know, not run at 300 hours because they'll just let it go down to 60 or 65, right. you know, and just throw a sweater on. We're, we love it when it gets cold <laughs> like that after, yeah. after 10 months of heat. So, yes. um, so, um, so yeah, we don't see a lot of it. Basically what typically happens for us is we see, you know, maybe a few really cold days and we'll get some no heat calls when that happens. But the it's, only it's reason it occurred point. to me is because I got in this argument with this guy <clears> from up North telling me it's so warm. Down. I said, you know, 40 degrees down here is going to feel a little colder than it does up there because you're going to feel moisture on your skin. And he told me humidity, that, that makes the temperature warmer. I said, maybe to in general, but not to your skin. Mm-hmm. In, in terms of a home, when someone's running the heat down, again, we don't run the heat down here, but how does the humidity play into heating a home? If, you're, if you have humidity, I mean, generally you're going to have less because of the cold temperature. And then you heat that air, it almost takes the moisture out of the air. Correct. Yeah. Uh, heating does remove moisture. So, you know, like I've been up north, I'm originally, I grew up up north, um, w- running heating up there. They run, you know, 2000 hours plus of heating a year. Um, it will remove humidity from mm-hmm. here. So they're oftentimes running 20% humidity uh, because they're running the heat so much. And then that, that ends up causing, you know, like the dry nose yeah, yeah. and all that, that we rarely see that. I mean, even, in, even when we get those cold days, right. if we can get our humidity down to 40% because we're running heat, we love it. So. I know. <laughs> Just a feeling of dry is what you look forward to. Yeah. All right, we're coming into a break. We're going to visit with Greg. He's got all kinds of information for you. If you're a homeowner, your AC system is something you better stay on top of. We talk a lot about home services on the show. I don't think any are more important than your HVAC system. So come back and again, Greg Bowman, the AC guy at Tampa Bay's here in studio. We're going to provide some real information for you as a homeowner. We've got a feel-good story for you, too, about a group that goes around and helps kids who need birthday celebrations. Don't underestimate the power of a birthday for a little kid. Come back and hear all about it on the Consumer Quarterback Show. This is Work Done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. Let me know when you're ready. All righty, everyone, please stand by. Five. 
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. That's right. ConsumerQB.com is where you can find a list of all our partners that appear on the show, in addition to all our great sponsors, one of which is Replenish IV Solutions. Now, Replenish IV Solutions is a new concept in terms of businesses. They provide an, an infused drip, an IV directly uh, they'll come out and hook it directly up to you at your home. In other words, these folks will come directly to you uh, in terms of visiting you at your business or at your home and give you a replenish IV solution replete with vitamins, whatever you prefer to boost your immunity in this time of uh, definitely we're all trying to boost our immune system at, during these COVID times. So replenish IV solutions. It's Steve and Lisa Gunnan, longtime friends of the program. Brandon swears by it. So I, I think that this, these folks have a business model that you may want to check out. They're willing to come directly to you or vi- meet your needs no matter how they have to do it. So Replenish IV Solutions, get in touch with them. Great sponsor for the show. Of course, we've got some real estate properties I want to go through real quick with you. Brandon and the Platinum MVP team, even in this time of real estate scarcity, has some real estate properties for you. 6128 Oak Ridge Avenue in Newport Ritchie. This is a full acre, 4,000 square feet. It's a 4-4 waterfront home with bay access. Really beautiful lot uh, right on the water. Lots of trees, vaulted ceilings, new floors, sharp looking property. 6128 Oak Ridge Avenue, Newport Ritchie, full acre. Get in touch with Brandon and the Platinum MVP team if you want to see that one. I'm sure he can do that for you. Got one more at 5510 South Elkins Ave in Tampa. This is a chance for you to uh, build your own lot. This is a zoned residential. It's a Ballast Point community, about 12 minutes from downtown, four minutes from the Tampa Yacht Club. This is going to go pretty fast. 5510 South Elkins Ave in Tampa. Get in touch with Brandon, the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty for all your real estate needs. They've still got properties for you. Visiting with Greg Bowman, longtime partner, friend of the show. We talked about how important the HVAC system is to your home. You better have a routine maintenance schedule. Greg has a great program where they'll come out and check you out twice a year to make sure you're running well. And, of course, he can do everything for you, new machines, repair, anything you need. Correct. Yeah, we take care of all of it. We'll do maintenance, uh, service if it you know needs a repair or if it's that time that you've got to replace. That's you know that We do that, too. What are you seeing, Greg, for average time? What do you tell a homeowner when they buy a new machine these days? Uh, average life today is between 10 and 12 years. Now we're different um, down here, I guess. And correct. That would be in our market. Now it depends. Like if you're right on the water, like some of those properties you just mentioned, not to throw shade on those properties, right. but uh, salt water, uh, the, okay. you know, the salt in the air is very hard on the machines. So you're probably on the lower end of that and when you're near the water. So we're going to beat up those machines with heat and salt. Correct. Yeah. Where we're at here, so close to the coast, you know, we get those nice go- coastal breezes, but that brings that salt air in and that salt corrodes those machines. Um, so it uh, does contribute to, to limiting reduce. the lifetime a little Correct. bit. Yeah. yeah. Now, of course, we want to do all the routine stuff with filters and maintenance. Like we talked about your schedule. Have you seen folks, we talked about the split systems. I know you gave me a little information about that before. That's really the way to go. So you don't have to cool the whole home. We're talking about like the duck list, the yeah. mini splits. Yeah, that's there's a lot of interest peaking in that now. Those those traditionally were very popular in Asia or Europe, but they're making a quite a bit of headway in the U.S. But yeah, uh, you can zone your house very easily with those, so you can you know don't have to condition the entire space. You have more room by room control with that type of a with that type of. And system. the smart technology entering your field, I imagine. Oh, everywhere. That's <clears throat> that's something that we're you know I, I, actually this this uh, just this past week Google announced that they've released their new version of Nest, which is 130 bucks uh, for a smart thermostat. So, uh, you know, add maybe 100 bucks to that if you want a you know company like our own to install it for you. 230 dollars, you can make your air conditioner smart. That's not not too bad. Boy, we love convenience. Absolutely. I wonder mm-hmm. if we've made it harder to repair some of these systems. I know in my world, in the video world, the more bells and whistles you start to get, sometimes the the, the more difficult it is to do a routine repair or get get a repair done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in some senses, yes, but uh, from a technical spot, um, most of these smart systems or most of the higher end systems we're installing today are self diagnosing, kind of like the cars with the module and mm-hmm. you know, the OBD port that you plug in and it'll tell you what's wrong with the oh, car. That's cool. Uh, most of the air conditioning units, the high-end air conditioning units today are self-diagnosing. So, you know, an entry-level technician can basically accomplish a repair without having to have years of experience because he can, you know, it'll tell him what's wrong right. with it. Um, the downside of that is computers and 
you know, circuitry and boards like that are a lot more expensive than the old electromechanical controls. So repairs are more. So um, we definitely stress in our company very highly of making sure you get a good warranty. That's that's what the, you know the critical thing. Um, now the, the marriage between the thermostat and the air handler and the actual unit, you can independent. Do they have to work together, or do you independently provide a repair or service on one of those? It depends on the system. A lot of the high end systems today are what it's called communicating, where the thermostat is unique to the system. They communicate. There are computers in each and it talks back and forth. So the thermostat tells the machine what's to do and the machine tells the thermostat what it's doing. Um, so the older style units, um, you know, more traditional, what we call legacy systems, any thermostat can be used to control those. You can go to Home Depot or, you know, Lowe's and buy one off the shelf that would work with those. Um, but your newer ones are, are getting a little more sophisticated. It just occurs to me that you might think you've really upgraded your AC because you bought this fancy thermostat. But if you haven't changed the guts, I'm not sure that it'll work, you know, in conjunction with the whole machine. To, again, it depends on the machine. Like, you know, uh, pretty much any machine out there can be controlled with a smart thermostat, like the Google Nest version that we talked about. Um, doesn't have to be a high-end machine to be able to do that. Gives you a little bit of functionality with that type of a thermostat. Um, the the high-end machines are really sophisticated. You know, they will uh, step the compressor up and down based on what's going on in the house, what the humidity Humidity is what the temperature yeah. is. It's you varying it all. The ability to remove humidity only. Correct. Yeah, a lot of that is built into them now. That they basically, if the humidity is high and you need to pull the humidity down, but you don't want to drop the temperature, they can switch modes and go into a dehumidification mode and Very pull cool. humidity down. Now I know in the video world there was a, a re, we had an event years ago, a tsunami that hit Japan, and it made the television manufacturers rely on one factory for parts. So it became less distinctive manufacturers. Mm -hmm. In the air conditioning world, you know, I was familiar with Carrier or Train or some of the big ones. Mm -hmm. are, do new competitors come in or do you find that the Carrier just has multiple brands out now or mm -hmm. tons of models? There's really probably less than 10 manufacturers. There's hundreds of brands, right. um, but there's probably only 10 manufacturers, give or take. Um, most manufacturers have a few to a dozen or more brands in their portfolio. So yeah, it has kind of consolidated. Uh, the last major manufacturer to enter the market th that I can think of was Goodman, uh, which is in mm -hmm. the 80s. You know, no no real new player has entered the market, and Goodman no longer exists. They're part of the Dykin family now, which makes Goodman, a man, a Dyke, and Franklin. Is there anyone that is, that is unique in terms of their warranty or provides over and above uh, the others? The the Dyke and family, I would I would say, um, with their warranty, some of their products now have twelve year parts and labor. Um, their um, base line, though, they were the first to bring ten year parts to the industry. When I started in this business in the 90s, roughly, mm -hmm. um, the standard industry warranty was five years on the compressor, one year on the part. You, that was best, top of the line. Uh, today, everybody has 10 year on the parts. Now some are getting to 12 years um, on the parts. And then, you know, Goodman and, and the Dykin family in particular has the, the labor oftentimes as part of that as well. Some others are following suit. Um, and, and you can always pay extra for it in any right, brand, but right. um, but their their product line tends to typically offer it. Well, it's an important part of the, your family. Without a doubt, it's a critical piece of your home, the HVAC system. Greg Bowman, the AC guy of Tampa Bay, what's the best way for folks to get directly to you, Greg? Uh, our phone number, 727-286-3170. We're also on the web at acguyoftampa.com. Just remove the the and bay from our name and, and .com. acguyoftampa.com. And you guys offer that great package. You come out twice a year what's the name of that our vip program okay. yeah twice a year maintenance uh, also involves discounts a 20 percent discount on any additional work you need no overtime charges that's huge um yeah and it's all 14 dollars a month is yeah what that, that can be get expensive it's much better to have a system like that in place where you can trust the guy to come out and take care of your system for you all right, Greg Bowman, the AC Guy Camp Bay. Thanks so much for coming in today, Greg. Yeah, thanks. I'm coming into a, glad to be here. Coming into a break. <laughs> when you come back, we got our cabinet specialist, About Face Cabinetry. Chris Robinson is going to join us and tell us a little bit about renovations and things you can do to improve the value and look of your kitchen. Don't go anywhere. Check us out online at ConsumerQB.com. You can find all our partners. This is Chris Voss, former FBI lead hostage negotiator and owner of the Black Swan Group. And you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend, Brandon Rice. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com.